Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 131 of Direwolf20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series, where I am continuing to run into resources that I don't have enough of. Haha, <laughs> that's a thing, and it's happening. Um, so right now, the resources that I don't have enough of are... Dun 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 dun, Ender Pearls! Huzzah! So I made Ender Seeds, which, typically in Mystical Agriculture, in order to get the mob-based seeds, you need, like mob essence things that require a dagger to kill the mobs. I didn't have to do that with this one, so that's cool. Uh, so we need our fluid conduits and probably some energy conduits. You go there, you can hook up that. And uh, tell me the cloche is on autocraft. I feel like it is. Yay. We need another one of those. Do your thing, autocrafters. Do it. Do it now. Come on. There you go. Thank you. So you're going to go here with dirt and seed. And you need energy, of course. And now we're cooking. Sweet. Drawers with the key in hand. An Enderman Essence. Woot! There might be better ways to get Enderman Essence but, or, or Ender Pearls, but I don't know of any. So we've like significantly burned through like pretty good all of our Ender Pearls that we had. And we used to have a lot, I feel like. So. I'm going to call that an impressive achievement. Making lots of ender pearls. Go direwolf. Disappear. Nice. All right. So we've got ender pearls here. We get three per craft. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um, we definitely want to seed this a little bit um, to, to make sure that we're good to go. So let's get some bone meal. I don't know what else. Let's give Mr. Ender Pearl a few minutes here to charge up because I'm working on more ultimate ingots, right? Uh, I needed 32 more, and to make that, we are short just a few Ender Pearls, I think. Yeah, missing 163 Enderman Essence. Wow, that's actually a lot. Uh, what I might do to help bolster the setup would be to steal these and pop you in here. How does that sound? Um, so we want, can you give me 200 of those, please? Bada bing, bada boom. Those are easy-ish to make. Three stacks sounds like a good number. That's looking pretty good. And that's looking pretty good. So that'll be a good, like, initial boost, right? Remember, we set this up so that anytime we're in a situation where, hey, we need we need a good kickstart, right? Like, letting this sit for a while will probably wind up producing more Ender Pearls than we're going to need for a while. But it's going to take us a little bit to get there. So by doing this initial boost um, of Phyto Grow, we, we managed to get that a lot better. Sweet. Mm. Not bad, not bad. I wonder if I X-netted this, if it would be even faster for fluid transfer. The limitation here is fluid transfer and water for that, or energy for that matter, but it's all good. We're getting lots of Enderman Essence now. Yeah. I'll just let all the Phyto grow burn out uh, and then call it a day, right? So I'm going to put those tin seeds away because I think we're pretty good with tin at this point, right? And then we can pop right over here. Boom, nine stacks. Booyah. Now, ultimate ingot times 12 should be craftable. Nice. All right, we are definitely making progress towards the amount of ultimate ingots that we need. The other thing I wouldn't mind doing, because I know for creative, we're going to need um, four ultimate catalysts. 
right? So I want to teach how to make those real quick. So we need the ultimate catalyst, which is going to be you. And we need this guy, which is going to be you. Cool. So we're going to need four of them. Okay, which I think if we met, if I remember the math that we did last time, that's the 32 ingots that we have uh, almost done now, right? So you're cooking up, you're cooking up. Let's sleep through this uh, rainstorm that's about to happen here. So I'll come back in a minute when my 32 ultimate ingots are done crafting. And then uh, we'll see what's remaining uh, to, to process and make to get the, the creative tank, right? Because I know we're probably going to need to get into... I don't know if we have a lot to do. We have a lot of fluids that we need to make, right? So we might have to make a few fluids, right? That looks like UU you, you matter. Is that what that is? 32? We have that. So I think we're cool. Uh, like there's lots of different fluids that some we may already have, some we may not. We may have to create or automate a little bit. Molten demon bottle. Okay, cool. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. Some of these things don't look terrible. Yeah, I think a lot of this is going to be doable. Um, demonically gargantuan drum. We may have to automate some of these things because it looks like we need a lot of those, right? Um, and then what else for creative? You know what? I can do, 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 do you, and we're going to put the creative here, right? Let's note all the things that we need to make. Cool. Uh, so obviously all the buckets, but we need to get black hole tanks. We need to get demonically gargantuan drums. We need the chaotic core and we need the anglicite. Aside from that, we have everything that we can craft. It's just a bunch of liquids we have to come up with. So overall, this doesn't look completely out of line with, you know, what's possible. I think this is doable. So let's come back in a minute here. Are you done or what are you doing? So you're hanging on to a few prudentium. You do, you do get stuck every now and then, Buster, and I don't know why. Like, what I'm thinking is it might be that the crate fills up. That might actually be what happens. Um, so you're looking for four more ultimate ingots? So you already made... I, I think you need eight more, buddy. Unless you're still transferring over here, that might be the case. I mean, we need a bunch anyway, right? So let's not be... Yeah, see, so you have four more going on right now. Okay. What I'm thinking is, can we make a crate upgrade? Because we can get a crate, right? That shouldn't be a problem. I'm thinking the crate might fill up with essence. And when that happens, AE gets stuck. And it doesn't, like, retry. I think that's probably what's happening. So what I think is if we upgrade the crate to a tier two crate, he'll have more inventory slots that can be accessed, meaning that he will have uh, the ability to not overflow. I think that's a plan of attack because the crate was put there to prevent overflow in the first place, right? But we're like overflowing the crate now. So that's where we're at. So let's do that and that, and then you're cool. So let's go upgrade that crate and see if that solves my essence problem that we've been having. Ta-da! Now he's got basically two grates in one block. So that should be cool. We'll see if that becomes a problem going forward. Uh, you, buddy, are you done? Yes. So that means ultimates should be at 28, and we should have no problem asking for four more. Next and start. Ooh, I like it. And then let's also quick peek over here because I haven't looked at this guy in a little bit. But look, 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 look. Pretty much all the flux is gone. Pretty much. There's a few little bits left. But remember how bad this looked a few minutes ago? Well, last episode. To me, it was a few minutes ago. I'm recording these episodes back to back. But, you know, not, not a crisis anymore, for sure. Definitely made a little bit of a mess. It's okay. We survived. All right, so now, you know, I haven't had spiders in a while. How's my sanity looking? Well, I mean, it's still pretty bad, but it's all good. All right, let's do this. Let's make, are you done making things? I think you are. So does that mean you can make me the 
four ultimate catalysts that I need. Yeah, you totally can. See? 32 ultimate ingots available. Nice. All right. That's awesome. So that's what we need for the creative tank, guys. Boom. What's up? That is awesome. Uh, and now we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. Right? More ultimate ingots. So can I just pop off sixteen as an autocraft? I hope so, because that's what I'm going to try to do. And here we're continuing to test what we don't have enough of: fiery ingots. Um, missing eighty-four thousand inferior essence. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, so fire ingots is another thing that we don't quite have enough of. Um, you know, it's a thing. It's 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 something that happens. Let's go uh, let our mob farm collect resources again, and maybe we'll set up a fiery seed. But I'll probably take care of that off camera a little bit. Because you do that, do that, and so you need basically two fiery blocks and two fiery ingots. That would be extremely easy to create, right? I just need a couple fiery armor sets and we're good to go. Uh, nice. So that and then the Inferium is going to be a problem. So did we use up all our red essence already? We totally did. So all those withers that we killed. And then soul, we need... Cool. That's 12 stacks, right? Yep. And away we go. So that'll get me more red essence that we need. Overall, not terrible. Cool. And that should significantly cut down the amount of Imperium essence that we need to make. Cool. Um, I'm almost at the point where I might want to say, like, don't learn don't know how to craft red essence i don't think i wanted to know how to craft red essence i should always just use weather skeleton skulls for red essence what i should realistically do um is what if we did this let's get a new ender chest Two new ender chests, for that matter. Okay, I have an idea. That will make my essence problems go away. We don't have any squid ink? Is it not called squid? So here's what we're going to do. All right, uh, that, and then we're going to want an interface. And then we're going to want a servo. And then we're going to want a filter. Probably, probably a resonant filter. Should be good. Two of you. And I'll be back in a minute once I've got everything ready. So in the interest of channels, I tapped into an existing interface. So what I'm going to do is pop a Wither Skeleton uh, Skull and Soul Sand in here. And then... Is everything cool here? I had one of those flux events happen uh, where the dudes showed up. The spooky dudes. I think we're good. I had to get out my laser because it looked like... It looked like they were lingering even though I killed them, but I, no, I think we're good now. We're good. Yeah, everything's cool. All right, so what we're going to do is do this with a servo and a filter, and you're going to keep... See? Kind of lingering. Half a stack, whitelist, blacklist. Empty blacklist, and you will do that. So that's it. Right? Easy peasy. And then we just pop over to here. I really would like to know why I'm still hearing their weird noises. Thumbcraft, please. 
Hear it? I think, I think. At least the fog is gone. Because that's the annoying part. I hate that fog. I hate it. So then we just have to boop. And, boop. and we should be cool. Yes, in theory? Yeah. What's up? Cool. How's how's that look? Right? And we did the I did the crafting thing on the soul sand, the crafting card. So that should just keep on getting me weather skulls, right? Like we're just gonna burn through all of our stuff and make a stupid amount of nether stars. Like that's just gonna run and run and run. I don't see any reason not to do that at this point. Right? I feel like that's doing its job so let's just say it's good all right so that'll get me the essences i need right uh so can i get the ultimates yet so like we should have lots of essence now red essence that is yeah 320 supremium essence all of a sudden it's really fast how quickly you get that stuff from what are skeletons and don't forget that lever next to the thing will turn it off in the event that we need to do so uh with that said let's try our ultimate ingots again um 32 no 16 that's how many you need for the thing. Right, just the fiery and cold coke, really? We can't make cold coke? I thought cold coke was on an auto craft. Don't we have that covered? I thought we had that. We have blocks of coal coke. So how do we make this again? Pyrolytic conversions. We could probably automate that if we wanted to. Because we have down here, we have this dude, right? So what if we made a recipe for the cold coke for that pyrolytic conversion? It's going to produce extra of that stuff, but I think that's okay. So let's just do this real quick. You're going to go into processing mode. You're going to do this. Right? I'm going to pop you in there. What are you set to do, Mr. Yetta Wrench? Do you have filters or anything? Nope, just speed upgrades. You have a filter. Okay. So let's just test this, right? So if I asked for 10 coal coke, what should happen? East insert, so we wanna Oh, I know what the problem is, is we've been, I know what's going on. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around because what we've been doing is putting blocks of coal in here and getting coal coke out. So rather than doing this pattern, I'm just going to teach it to convert the blocks into ingot or into, into individuals. That should be fine. If we ever run into a problem, then we'll just, you know, do more. I think that works, right? So let's just do this as a pattern. And that works for me, right? If we run into a situation in the future, we'll be fine. All right, so with that taken care of, now can we get our ultimate ingots? We might be a little shy on the essences, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Yeah, the fiery is what's up now. So let's go get the fiery seeds cooking. So many things that we need, it's shenanigans. No fiery in here just yet? How about in here? Fiery? Yeah, there's fiery boots. 
10 plate. That's cool. That should probably be close to enough. Let's repair all these things. Boom. Boom. Sweet. Two blocks of fiery metal, two ingots, uh, 36 of you. You know what I could probably do? Let's just save our essence that we have right now. Cool. Get that seed, which should be nice and quick. And four. Okay. And then fire ingots come from this. Nice. So we're running out of spots over there for all the cloches that we want to have. <sighs> Such is life. We could sneak another one in right here, which wouldn't be the end of the world. Cool. And then we'll pop our conduits down. So I just need one of you. And one of you and some dirt. And this is Dyer continuing to learn about all the things that we still don't have super well automated, but like we gotta be running out, right? Down should be extract. Yeah. When I clicked the wrench, it didn't connect the pieces. It set the thing wrong. All right. And then you there. And then you there. Do do. Drawer with key. Do do. This guy, this guy, and then a little bit of teaching. Cool, and that should be good. Uh, debating if I want to speed things up a little bit with those seeds. Probably should. Did I take these seeds out of here? No, nah, let's go put our enderman seeds back because I forgot to do that earlier. You should go back. And what I'm gonna do is borrow you for a minute and get some phyto grow. Yeah, give me like 32 more of those-ish. Just a quick little get started thing, right? That should be super easy to kickstart. And then we'll put this back over here for future use. Okay, now can I get my 13 ultimates? Or 16 ultimates? So close, what are we missing now? Still missing some essence, huh? Let's do this. Oh, I'm missing soul sand? Really? Don't you know how to make soul sand? Oh, I guess you don't, haha. <laughs> Here, I went and assumed you knew how to make it already. We're missing it because we, you know, we're, we, we burned it all up making withers. Ultimately is what happened. So let's do this real quick just to make things a little bit easier. Okay, now we should be able to make our ultimates. 
Yay! All right, cool. So what else do we need to look into making? Probably the demonic gargantuan drum and the black hole tank, which, wow, requires a black hole talisman and a few other things that don't look too bad. That's not terrible. Gaia spirits, ender air bottles. Um, and you can dupe Gaia spirits, but only if you get into some advanced, super advanced alchemy stuff. All right, back in a few. All right, guys. Uh, so next up, we have to figure out a few cool things to do. I think if I did this, would this allow me to get bottles of enchanting? It works. Beautiful. Thank you, Mob Essence Farm. Bada bing, bada boom. What's up? All right. We're also going to eventually need some Ender Air Bottles, but I need you to be a thing in here. So let's put you in there, and you're going to need to do some things, right? So you're going to be there. You need climb dudes, right? Clear glass? Does it have to be clear glass? It does look like it has to be clear glass from Tinkers. That's only going to come from here, isn't it? Because of course. Because of course it does. And you have to be cast into a casting basin, don't you? Because of course you do. All right, let's... Ender fluid conduits. Fluid filters. So if I popped you on here, north would be extract. With a filter. Is there a bucket of molten glass around here? Hmm. Clear glass from Tinkers comes from liquid glass, of which there is a bucket. Yay! So that means you should only, and then on the down would be insert only. So on the north can be extract always active. Cool. All right, and then uh, can we get some item conduits, please? So what goes into the interface over here? Blue? Yeah, that looks like the insert for an interface. So that is an insert. So we want to extract on blue, right? Extract on blue. Always active. Nice. All right. And then clear glass. From Tinkers will effectively be one piece of sand. Is that accurate? I hope. So what we're going to do is pop that dude into here and then see if clear glass works, right? So one piece of sand should pop into this dude. Nice. And then what we should get is clear glass that then gets dumped into here. Whoop. Nice. He cools off relatively quickly. And then he's good to go. All right, I'll take that, right? And clear glass is in the system. Nice. All right, cool. So with that said, we should now be good to automate the climb bottle. Cool. Uh, so that's covered. The demonically large gargantuan. We also need one of these. And one of these. And one of these. You have a lot of stone slabs, so I'm not going to set the recipe for them yet, but we'll see. We'll see if we need them eventually. Now, there might be a few recipes here we're missing. Like, I don't know if we have those diamond plates or not. But basically, we're going to try and make one of these and see what happens. Uh, I know we don't have the demonic plates, by the way. But I want to see what other recipe components we might be missing. Well, actually, you know how to craft compressed diamonds. So that's cool. So really, it's just the demonic plates. That's cool. Um, so to make demonic plates... Oh, we can get a block of demon metal in our metal press mold. That works. Uh, or we can cast it, right? Now, demon metal 
ingots we already know how to make, right? Yes, sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say you go there and then in processing mode, demon metal plate. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And then where's a plate? That's the compactor. We need the dropper for plates. Did we get rid of all the droppers for plates over here? I can't imagine we did, did we? Which one of these guys has the plate mold? I wanna say the first one probably, right? Yeah, that's what's up. This guy, that's what's up. Okay, cool. And then you just go into the old, regular old crafting interface, dude. So then we should be good to make our demonic drums now, right? So let's validate that we can make one demonic drum. That seems doable. It's a lot of crafting, obviously, but it looks within the realm of reason. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Okay. So how many of those do we ultimately need? One, two, three, four, five. 10, 16, right? Demonically gargantuan drums, 16 of those. So let's start with this. Let's get ready to make what we need to make. Can we have another crate, please? So we're gonna start accumulating the resources we need right here. So for example, the 16 ultimate ingots that we need, boom. The four ultimate catalysts that we need, boom. That's cool for the creative doohickey, right? Um, we're now making, so let's get four awakened cores. Can I get those? Like, would you be a difficult thing to make at this point? Probably not. You'll get to work. It's pretty awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Scheduled one, stored one. That's a good sign. Yay. Cool. Does that mean we got the demonic? Nice, we got one. That's awesome. So that's one. We need 15 more. Shouldn't be too big of a deal though, right? If I want that, we just need more stone slabs. So we do need to know how to make those, but everything else is pretty straightforward, right? Um, boop, 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 boop. Stone slab. That works for me. And start on that dude, right? So that's cool. How's our awakened cores coming along on CPU, I presume one? Cooking. All right, so we're actually like really close to getting what we need um, for every, except the liquids. We haven't started working on the liquids yet, but I wanna get all the components for the creative tank done except for the individual liquids and then we'll probably have to spend a little bit of time some of the liquids i'm sure i'm already crafting and some of them i'm sure i'll have to make right but some of them we only need a bucket worth right so like there's no sense in for example like let's take a look at one of them right um the empowered oil right we don't need to automate empowered oil we just need to make empowered oil that should take literally a minute right so that should be easy. Um, molten demon metal bucket, same thing. We don't need to automate this. We just need to make it. So a lot of these buckets we'll probably just make, right? Same with ethanol, right? Like we don't have to go, like we'll have to make the machines to make the ethanol, but we don't have to fully automate it. We just need one full um, basic portable tank. So I mean, that's cool, right? Nice, all right. So let's do this. How about we wrap up the episode here? We'll come back next time with all the the drums and the awakened cores done. Um, we are gonna have to make this dude, but that looks, in fairness, relatively easy. We're gonna need four more awakened, but like that's it, and everything else we already have. So super easy to make that. And 800 million RF is nothing to us at this point. So I think we uh, don't have to worry about the cost of energy on that bad boy, right? So that should be cool. Um, so as soon as we're done with our current awakened craftings, 
which looks like we're we're heading towards you know end game territory here uh you're making draconic cores you're making your wyvern cores that kind of stuff so i think we're cool yeah let's wrap up here come back next time and what we'll probably start working on next time is i'm debating at this point whether i want to automate anglicite because we only need four of them uh but i know we need them for the other creative mode things right so at the very least i'll want to automate all the components of the anglicite right uh at the very least i want to automate the components of it uh so we'll figure that out for now though 20 signing off hope you enjoyed the episode we'll come back next time and at least get a creative tank uh and then we'll just kind of see how we're feeling um because i'm already starting if i'm being honest with you guys to, to get to that like whole all right we've automated almost everything at this point so at this point it's like it's just a matter of time until we knock everything out i'm not sure if we'll do all the creative stuff but i've kind of said that multiple times right i i feel pretty good with this series so we'll see how much further it goes for now take it easy